Hey, what's up guys? BossX7 here, back with another No Limits 2 tutorial. And today we'll be learning how to make B&M catwalks, chain backs, and lift hill motors. So let's get started here. So make sure you go to your preferences. You have these settings, snap distance 0.5, snap angle 15, grid size 1. Press OK. So for this tutorial, to apply to your coasters, you want to build your lift hill first and stop at the lift hill to make it easier on yourself with the nodes and putting all the support scenery in. So just make sure you stop here. So um, next step, go to a uh, new coaster and coaster properties and make sure you have uh, one type new. So call this one catwalk and that's this piece right here. So when you unfreeze it, you should make an element that looks like this that goes down just about as far, probably about three feet underneath the main track and make the segment invisible and apply catwalks to it. So when you freeze it, you should have this element here. This took a while to adjust, so I, I didn't put that in the video, but uh, we'll get started here. So make sure when you move it, that these that these two catwalks, remember these are two separate segments, that they connect on these I-beams in the middle. So make sure that this piece right here is connecting. So that's, that's the most important part. So once you get that, get the general shape that you want. That looks good. Now we're gonna connect the rails and create the platform down here. So for that step, you wanna keep these both frozen. Go make a new one, call it rail, I, that's what I called it. Go to coaster properties, style, and make sure this is on new. The coaster type doesn't matter. And oh yeah, for a catwalk, this one that we made, uh, make sure that this coaster style is exact same as this one, because some coasters have different size catwalks, so you wanna make sure they match up perfectly. So let's freeze that. All right, go to rail. Go to supports, add free node. And what you're gonna to wanna to do with these is add a node on each one of these rail ends where these pipes cross on both sides. And then we're gonna connect the pipes so they match up. So let's do four here, one, two, three, and four, and four here. And make sure snap is off for this. It's gonna make it a lot easier to line them up. I mean, I'm not sure if you can do it with snap on, but uh, I'm doing it free handed. So it, just take a few minutes here and just try to make it as perfect as you can and center the node onto both horizontal and vertical rails. Okay, so once you have these about lined up on the rails, go to add beam, support panel, make sure the custom color is the same as the color of the catwalk, the catwalk rails at least and go to custom pipe. This first one's gonna be 0.18. Make sure these are both zero and close. We're gonna add the top one here to here. And next one, go to 0.13. And we're gonna add these three down here. Now let's freeze that. All right, so if you need adjustments, you should just adjust them as you need them. So this needs to be lowered a little bit. Let's see about this one. Is on up. So just keep adjusting it till they look right. All right, so once you get a decent look to what you want, they, the rails should be connected like this. So you have one catwalk. Now, next step, unfreeze. Highlight the whole thing and copy. And add it to the other side. Let's add one. All right, so go to top view. Add it right here. You want to line this up just like the other one, um, except you only need to grab one node and try to line it up in the middle of both rails. Now let's do the platform on the bottom. So unfreeze. Same thing as up here. Go to supports, add free node, and on all four of these rails, add add a node on them. And by the way, if your nodes spawn way over here, look up to the sky and click. So this should get your nodes to spawn really, cl really close to you so they don't spawn across the map. Okay, so once you get these just about lined up, same as the top up here, so go to support panel, this is 0.13, so let's add these ones first. Bottom three at 
Then change this back to 0.18 and add the top one. And line this up a little bit more and test it out. Make sure they connect. Just move these up a little bit. Now remember, this is only going to be as perfect as you want it to be. So the more time you put into adjusting these nodes, the more perfect it will be. So that's just on you guys. So uh, next step, we're going to add the vertical parts. So go to supports. So unfreeze it, go to supports, add a free node. I mean, beam node, the one in the middle and right about there, go to top view. And this is a one foot by one foot grid. So we're going to have it right on this middle line here. And we have this one on the same line on the opposite side. And this one should be lined up in the middle. Let's make sure. All right. There we go. So now let's add a beam node. I mean a free node down here under both sides. Just like that. Turn snap on and snap it to distance. Okay, so when you're done, you should have something like this. So I'll go to add beam. We're going to keep 0.18 and make sure at the end we have 0.7. So add 0.7 to the end of that. Draw from this beam down to here, beam node down to there, and same on this side. Same on this side. Let's line this up. There we go. And let's freeze it. Okay, you have two rails. Make sure they touch a little bit below here, which they do. You might have to extend those later, but we'll see. So next step, go to top view. Go to supports, add free node. And we're gonna see, measure the length of this. So like I said, it's gonna be different for everyone. So just make sure you measure out the length of this on the tiles and make the, the beam nodes length the same. So I'd say this is about two and a half two and a half so 22 feet something like that all right okay so go to add one here and one about there you're gonna test out for now and move over move these over on the line about two spaces just like that define copy those add on this side and about two spaces over so from the middle line they both should be about two squares to fit the distance and then go, just go to front view. All right. Make sure they're both lined up with each other. Go back to perspective. Now go to add beam, support panel. Make this a custom box beam. And let's do width about, make sure this is horizontal too. Let's do height, 0.3. Actually, let's do 0.5. And width should be about six 6.2 feet and make sure this end goes back to zero and this should be the color of the catwalk or at least the base of this because you can have different colors for the, the rail and the floor so add the beam here so on both sides there we go and move it over and test it out so and drag this right over it should line up in the middle of the track there we go and drop it down just a little bit Page down. All right, let's see how this works. Let's freeze it. All right, so we got a little bit of a floor here. Okay. It's not too long. We can actually make it a little bit longer on this side. So let's grab these two and move them over just like that. If you make these a little bit less wide, just make them, make them about 5.8 both sides and 5.8 let's test that all right that looks good so now you could make nets in between here or add another one of these but uh, I'm just leave this empty for now so next step we're gonna add the, the chain back so for this you don't need the rail 
you, you can go back to your normal uh, coaster. In this case, it's tutorial. So go to unfreeze. Now remember we have the uh, type, type separator here. So go to support, go to add rail connector, go to support panel, make this simple. Press close. And for the first one, add it right on the type separator. So right in between. This is where the chain is gonna end. So next step, go to front view. And this is gonna vary for everyone, but make them even across. I'm gonna do about seven for me. So count seven squares down from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go up one. And make sure that the node actually lines up on the seven line. There we go. Okay, so when you're finished with this, make sure these are lined up on the lines. And you should have, a, should have an evenly spaced um, section here with rail connectors. Go to back to perspective. Make sure they're all okay. All right. So now we're going to add the, uh, the node on the bottom that connects back to the chain motor. So let's add it about here. Make sure it's centered on the track too. So go back to top view, go to the front. Just locate it. Okay, let's put it in the center of the track. Okay, so once you get to this step, you want to add this node. This is the part that uh, connects back. So go to add beam, support panel, go to C beam, C I H, which one? Let's just go C beam. Okay, so profile width 0.7, profile height 0.7. And make sure rotation angle is at negative 90 in this case for my rotation of my coaster to so flip the C beam upwards. So we're going to connect it from this node here all the way up to the top here to where this ends. And make sure this is the color of your track or whatever color you want it to be. Let's freeze that and see what it looks like. Okay. So we should have this cable back uh, C beam that holds the chain all the way back, back down to the motor. Okay. All right, next up, we're gonna add the vertical pieces, so unfreeze. Now, um, we could just connect it directly to the track, to the chain back, but I don't wanna do that. We're gonna actually make a casing for it, so we can actually put the chain on the inside. So, go to supports, add free node. We're gonna add four nodes here. So, remember this was 0.7. So we're gonna make the width 0.7 of the part that holds it up. So go to preferences, snap distance 0.7, press okay. And we're gonna move these both 0.7. So let's line them up directly above each other like this. So they move 0.7, this one too. 0.7 and 0.7, there we go, 0.7, 0.7. Now to put one directly in the middle, that's, that's what this is going to connect to. We need to put half 0.7, so make this 0.35, press OK, add free node, align it up on here, move it over one, there we go. So for the support panel, make sure this is on zero. So let's go to custom box beam, let's go to vertical beam, make this 0 0.5 by 0 0.1, zero and zero, let's add the vertical, let's test it out, Just your freeze, all right, that looks good. Let's add the same thing for the other side. So add beam here. And now we can do the horizontal. So go back to support panel. Go to horizontal and reverse these two. Actually, let me test that out the way it is. All right, that looks good. So go to support, add the beam on the top one. Cross from here to here. And move this back into place, just like that. And you can go ahead and go to preferences and change this back to 0 0.5, that's okay. Copy and paste this entire thing. So to find copy, go to front view. You see this one over here. So let's go ahead and move this under here. So line this up on the same line, drop it down and make sure this is, this node is just below where this is. So we can actually turn snap off here and just adjust it the way we need it. Just like that, all right. Go to add to find paste. Same thing here. All 
All right, let's go to top view. Let's move these directly. So for a top view, you want to move this middle node onto this. The uh, rail connectors have a golden node on them and move this one right, right above it. So make sure they're lined up. There we go. And do this for all of them. Okay, there we go. Let's go back to perspective. Make sure they're lined up. All right, now let's add the vertical part. So I'll go to supports, support panel, custom box beam, make it 0 0.5, 0 0.5, or you can do I beam, it doesn't matter. Zero and zero. And add, add it from the middle node here to the top, just like that, on all of them. All right, so we should have these holders that hold the chain up. So the chain can be on the inside and not go right through the pipe. There we go, looks good. All right, so now we have that done. Go, we're gonna make the, the lift motor now. So we're gonna add the chain that attaches to the lift motor. So, un so go back to, you can go use rail now. So use rail, the one, this is the same one that we used to make these up here. So go to that file. So we can keep all of this frozen. Go to supports. Let's unfreeze it. Go to supports, add free node. And add a node right at the end of this chain here. So let's see where it went. It's over there. Alright. So let's add it right about here. You can turn snap back on. Just to line up in the middle. Then you can do the fine tuning later. There we go. So let's keep it about there and lower it just a tiny bit. All right, now you're gonna want to, want to add this next node somewhere random in here, uh, cause it's gonna have the aesthetic look of going back into the chain motor. Where'd the node go? All right, hold on. So let's turn snap back on. This doesn't matter the location, just as long as it's underneath the track and lined up with the angle of the chain. Okay. Let's lower that some more. Page down. There we go. That looks good. Let's test that out. So go to add beam. This is going to be five by five still. Because that's the width of the chain. And go to the node down here and add it. And freeze it. And see if it's lined up which is not at all. <laughs> all right, let's line this up. Okay, so now you have the part where the chain goes onto the track. You have the part where the chain goes back to the motor. Now let's build the motor. So unfreeze it, go over here, go to supports, add free node. Let's do about, looks about five feet, I guess. How about, let's, let's do like nine. All right, so go about here to here. Like I said, this, this will be different, so it doesn't matter. It's just for me, in this case, for this length right here. So let's go, let's actually just make it 10, make it easy. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we have a 10 foot length. Go to add beam, support panel, box beam. Make this about five and three. Actually, five and four. There we go. Let's add the beam. And freeze that. All right, that looks good. Let's actually change the color. There we go. Now, go to top view. This is just my aesthetic part. Uh, go to front. I mean, add, add free node and add about two spaces, actually do about three spaces from the middle here, just like that. Define and copy this, define copy, add define paste. Okay, add another one. And make sure these ones are below it and these ones are above it. So add these directly above here and let's move them up. About there looks good. Good 
edge down a little bit there and move these up a tiny bit. Let's move these back. Edge down. Okay, now go to add footer. Go to top view. And add footer is underneath all of these. Just like that. Go to perspective, add beam, support panel. Go to I beam, IH beam. There we go. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Make this. I'll keep it, keep it gray, I guess. All right. Let's go to from this one to this one, and here all the way around. There we go. Let's go across. Across here, down. All right. Let's freeze that. Okay, so we should have this look to it. You can actually tighten this up, see how there's spaces here. So let's move them a little bit closer. Let's go to top view. Let's, let's turn the snap to it's 0.1. Yeah, 0.1 would be fine. And move these all one notch closer. I need a bigger value than that. So let's do like 0.25. So 0.25, there we go. Let's move these all closer one. There we go. Let's freeze that, test it out. Alright, so let's go to unfreeze. We're gonna add a little bit more detail to this. Go to add free node. Let's add two more. Right here should be fine. Uh, like this. Put this back on 0.25 or 0.5. I mean, there we go. All right, let's add it on this side. Same thing. Add to add a node right in here. Let's add these beams now. I think that should be good. Let's go freeze it. All right. Now we have to set this underneath the track. You guys should get rid of these two. Don't need them. Okay, so highlight the whole thing. Go to top view. And place this right underneath. There we go. You can actually lower this now. Let's try that and make sure both of these are touching so make sure this node is inside here somewhere and this is touching the end just like that there we go let's freeze it okay and there we go so we have our chain motor and we have the part that goes onto the lift we have the chain back which we're almost done with. And we have the catwalk. So now next, last step here, we're gonna add the chain inside the chain back. So unfreeze rail, go to supports, add free node, add a free node somewhere in here, just like that, on the bottom. Add a free node in here. Just make sure this is lined up here, just like that. Can actually move it back just a little bit. 
All right, that looks good. Now we're gonna go to add beam, support panel, custom box beam. Make sure this is, and remember this is 0.7, so 0.5 will work. That's the width of the chain. Support panel, profile width 0.5, profile height 0.3, zero and zero. And let's go to color and make it some kind of black or brown, whatever you want. And go up to the top. Add it here. Let's make sure this actually goes all the way to the end. Let's press space, go back, there you go. Down one. All right, let's freeze that. All right, so now you have a chain back with the actual chain inside of it. That doesn't actually touch or go through any I-beams that most people use. So it's actually being held up. And we have a really nice lift hill motor that runs right back onto the lift, all the way back up to the drop down catwalk. And you can finish, from there you can finish the rest of your coaster. It'll look really nice. So yeah. Hey, what's up guys, back here. I added a few supports to the coaster. Uh, here we have the, the lift hill motor that connects right to the chain back with the chain inside. You also have the, the cases for the chain back that don't interfere with the chain at all. So they aren't unrealistically going right through it. These are pretty simple to make. And we have the drop down catwalk, which we can add supports and all kinds of stuff and netting here uh for the bnm coaster so hopefully this helped you guys out and uh if you guys have any more suggestions for tutorials make sure to leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next one